All right, so I've had some comments and uh, some questions about uh, people's Samsung washing machines. Now, sometimes on this display over here, while it's going through its wash, you'll see an S, a U, and a D on there. Sud, basically, suds. Now, that is not an error code. That is just advising you that there's a lot of soap that is building up inside the actual washing machine. Now, on the back side of this washing machine, you'll see this, this vent right here, okay? So this vent, actually, um, in order for air to be able to escape out of here, because we've got to have this thing, this thing watertight, um, we have to allow air to be able to escape. And the way that the machine actually picks that up is on the pressure sensor. So all those little um, bubbles that are popping, you know, millions and millions of little bubbles that are popping, that pressure sensor is picking that up. We have no sensors on this thing whatsoever that says, hey, you've got way too much soap in here. The only thing that can pick that up is the actual pressure sensor. Now that's not an error. It's gonna continue on. It's gonna go out throughout its business. It's gonna finish the cycle and everything like that. But it's just letting you know that there's way too much soap. So how can you combat that amount of soap? Well, you simply open it up, make sure that there's nothing inside there whatsoever, no water or anything like that. And just take yourself a cap of vinegar or so, throw it in there, shut the door, press start and let it go. So that'll help a lot. And also, if you didn't notice or know on your machine, this self clean button right here that needs to be activated at least every about, I'd say 30 loads or so, 25 to 30 loads that you run through this machine. I would go ahead and hit that self clean button. And then that way it'll run the machine. It'll pump hot water in there. It basically, it's, it, that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to self clean itself to try to combat a lot of that um, soap and scum and all that other stuff that builds up inside of there. But again, just take yourself a little bit of apple cider vinegar or just regular white vinegar, just like a capful or so, throw it in there and um, you know hit that self clean on there. It's gonna run for about four hours or so, I believe. Let me press this button. Oh, yep, 353 so close um, but uh, yeah it will um, run for about four hours it runs hot water in through there so therefore it helps clean out that that inside of that tub because all your water is draining right through this little area right here okay so it drains through here and then there's a there's a hose underneath here that uh, goes down to the drain pump that's, that's right here in the front so um, that helps out a lot and uh, just make sure that you hit that self clean on there because if you don't uh, you're going to run into issues uh, this uh, this spider gear especially back here uh, it's on the back side of it it's made basically by uh, pot metal uh, really 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 um, you know doesn't hold up to a lot of soap uh, residue that's on it and that soap can actually eat away at that spider gear and that's where people run into issues with the bearing going bad on the back of the uh, the machine there making it sound like a, a jet taken off um, from the airport so if you ever hear that that's probably a good indication that you've got a, uh, a bad bearing back there and that's going to be a complete tub job and uh, most people opt to uh, just get a new washing machine before they before they have that fixed on there so other than that um, that is the explanation of the suds that is not an error code on there just know that your machine needs to run the self-clean on there and you need to throw like a little cap of vinegar in there to kind of help eat away at that soap and to protect the longevity of your machine thanks for watching make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you all on the next one